Let's talk about Milton, which, by the way, Milton now in the record books as one of the strongest hurricanes we've seen in the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, this is at one point yesterday, it was even stronger than Hurricane Katrina. We know the damage that did in Louisiana. This is comparable to Hurricane Rita. By the way, Rita and Katrina both hit in 2005. The storm, this storm system is headed towards Florida. It has weakened some compared to yesterday. Yesterday, winds were at 180 miles an hour. Winds now at 155 miles an hour. Movement is to the east-northeast at 12 miles an hour. It is forecast to intensify back to a Category 5 hurricane hurricane and then weaken some as it gets closer to Florida. Some folks asking why is it headed towards Florida? Why is this storm system moving off towards the east? Well, you can see the jet stream that is farther to the north. It's going to block it from heading into the north central Gulf Coast. Plus, we have high pressure out here, which is helping to keep the storm off towards uh, the east. Here is uh, the forecast track. So category five later today, category four by tomorrow. Then it looks like a category three storm once it makes landfall right around the Tampa area by Wednesday night. Winds at landfall over 120 miles an hour. That alone will do quite uh, some damage. You add the rain, which will fall at intense rates, plus the storm surge. We're talking a life-threatening storm surge. 10 to 15 feet in some very populated areas like Clearwater, Tampa, and Sarasota. We'll continue to keep all eyes on Milton and, of course, bring you the latest on that. Our Four Zone Weather app, if you're interested on more on Milton, you'll be able to track what goes on in the tropics on the Four Zone Weather app as well. Here in Texas, watching the stationary front, not doing much right now, but that should head a little farther south into our area later today. Behind that, we should see some drier and cooler air for tomorrow morning. In the upper levels, this area of high pressure will stay to the west. Now, we should see a weak front come through the area by Sunday Monday or Monday, but a stronger front. This is the one that could come in late next week, dropping temperatures even more. May have the first true cold front of the season coming in next week. Pretty nice out there this morning. Temperatures in the upper 60s until 8 o'clock in the morning. And then we're going to warm things up at noon, 88, 89 this afternoon. Mostly low 90s, but I think we'll eventually top out at 94, 95 as we get closer to 4 p.m. Eastern zone about 93, the western zone 95. Hill Country 92. Mornings cooling down, especially by Friday morning. High temperatures in the low 90s Friday through next Monday. Western zone upper 90s through Friday, mid 90s this weekend, low 90s early next week. 80s in the Hill Country by early next week. Monday is Columbus Day. That's a look at your forest zone weather. We'll be right back.